This short video covers the final assembly of the pieces of the omnidirectional steering pod. It includes the inner ring, the outer ring, and the drive wheel. Now, as a normal procedure, if I have a part that or assembly that is fairly complicated, I want to go into CAD and I want to virtually build it up to the point where I make sure or I'm fairly certain that I can get screws in, that I can get uh, hex wrenches in, and that I can get physical wrenches in where, in the places that I need them. So to start off with, this is the inner ring. There is no interference, there's no access problems when this piece is assembled. All the screws go in vertically, both on the top and the bottom. The only challenge in assembling this, and the reason that you see the gap in these 3D printed parts, is when they assemble the copper hoops are bigger, and in order to get clearance to for these uh, cover pieces, you have to be able to essentially radially displace these pieces inward. And I have gone into CAD and verified that once you do that, you can push them back out without them interfering with each other. I do have the sense that you don't need this much gap and if it turns out to be the case then if I go in 3D print it again after the first batch I will make the gap a little smaller. Alright so starting with the inner ring the first thing you do is to assemble the outer ring around the inner ring. Essentially the inner ring is in place when the outer ring gets assembled. These layered restraining structures hold the wheels in place and the wheels lock the inner and outer ring together. So essentially you're going to have to work your way around and put as you put this together you'll need to install the Delrin wheels first and then attach the upper pieces. And then once you've worked your way all around, the system will be locked. Once that's together, the next step is to install the chain. The combination of gear and sprocket with clutch, it just drops in. There's a bearing on the bottom, a bearing on the top, and it just basically slides into place. At that point, you can install the chain. Now these, uh, these chain tensioners are shown as if they're perfectly in place. But ideally what you do is you install, install the chain with as few links as possible and then push the chain tensioners in to wherever they need to go to give you a reasonable fit. Again, I think I mentioned before, after this has been run in for a while, I suspect that the chain will loosen up a little and I'll have to come back in and move the chain tensioners. Installing the chain itself They'll, you have to essentially, there's no other place for access, but you have to get the link in this location or this location, and that should give you enough room to drop the joining link together. Next I install the Delrin top piece and that basically ties everything in this in this location together and prevents it from coming apart. The next step is to install 
the brush assembly gets held in with two vertical bolts. So it, the brushes themselves can be pushed almost all the way in to the brush assembly. So that makes it more compact and you need to do that to clear this little ledge. I don't have a sense of how difficult this is going to be. It might be fair, fairly difficult, it might be fairly easy. That's, that what, that's what I'll find out. The next step after this is a combination of things. And that's the installation of the center wheel and the components that bolt the center wheel to the inner circle, inner ring. That's this piece here and there is a bronze washer that keeps the wheel from rubbing up against this piece. One on each side. Now you, ideally you'd want to put the uh, wheel in first before you install the wire rope isolators because there may be a little bit of interference and just to make life easier on yourself might as well put the wheel in first. I did note that there is a little potential interference at this location. If you drop this straight down, this, which is the mount location for the uh, 2.4 gigahertz serial device, I might have to redesign this uh, if it, I, potentially think because there's room in here that you can wiggle this around a little and sort of duck it under. If that's not the case, then I'll have to remove a little bit of material here. Of course, I can also round this corner a little bit too. All right. Next, I install isolator mount. wire rope isolator. Again, you can see based on this drawing, if I put the wire rope isolator on, it may or may not get close to the wheel as it gets dropped in. There's no reason to have it on. It can be installed at a later time. All four isolators. And finally, the interface plate. That is the full Omni Drive assembly with drive. And I am looking forward to putting one of those together. <laughs>